Hello, thank you for watching the short introduction on the Amplitude Analytics platform. Today we'll be focusing on user cohorts, how we can build them and what we can do with them in Amplitude. In other videos we've already looked at basic funnels, trying to understand conversion drivers and looking at the path that our users take with the user option. Zweiter Versuch bei 30. Hello. Thank you for watching this short introduction on the Amplitude Analytics platform. Today we'll be focusing on user cohorts, how we can build them and what we can do with them in Amplitude. In other videos we've already looked at basic funnels, tried to understand conversion drivers and looked at the path that our users take in our application with user journeys. Cohorts in Amplitude can either be created in any chart or, for example, manually by selecting rules in the cohort section. Once you have created a cohort, you can actually make use of it in multiple ways. I can actually use that cohort as a user filter in any chart. So, for example, I could take my, the cohort of users who completed a purchase in a retention chart and compare it against users who did not complete a purchase. I can also run a cohort comparison, trying to understand what are the differences between the makeup of these cohorts in the actions that the users take. So in this case, I can for example see that users from the cohort that have completed a purchase 2.21 times more often add items to their shopping cart compared to users who did not complete a purchase. At some point, once I'm done with my analysis, I might want to take some action on users from a specific cohort. For example, maybe I want to send a message to the users who did not complete a purchase. I can just sync a cohort to a third party system like a Facebook ads or a Google ads or for example a messaging system like Brace. I can do that ad hoc but I can also do that Schedule on a scheduled basis, for example hourly or daily, so that users that are at that moment part of this specific cohort will get a messaging from a third-party system. Now this concludes our quick look at cohorts and amplitude. Thank you for watching and have a great day.